Hey guys, today we're gonna learn how to play Wing Gambit. This is a very interesting dynamic opening, mainly among beginners and club players. It's going to be very well. Something good is that you can play it against Sicilian defense, but also against French defense. This uh, opening could be useful. So, if you like gambits and if you like sharp positions, this is going to be a good opening for you. Keep watching. We have wing gambit on the board after the moves e4, c5, Sicilian defense, and then white can play the surprising b4. The idea with this gambit is, well, to distract or deflect the c pawn, so we can play d4 sometime later, controlling the center, developing pieces very quickly. Also, in some lines, we can use the pawn on b4 as a hook to continue opening lines in the queen side and also to continue developing pieces over there. Also, I have seen this idea where white can play a3, wanting to play b4 later, but this time it's not like giving a pawn, this time it's not a gambit, and it has the same idea of uh, deflecting this pawn so we can stay with the center. This is not particularly strong because, as you can see, we're not developing here. However, as a surprise, it could be an interesting option. After b4, black has some ways to play. The main line is just accepting the gambit c takes b4. However, we are going to see our options black could be playing. For example, a logical move could be this e6, wanting to recapture with the bishop developing. However, this line is not very well for black. We can just capture, but after black develops, we have this move d4, we have the center, we are getting a tempo, and what is going to be very well in this position. Our options here after b4 are b6 or d6, just protecting the pawn with another pawn so they can recapture and keep some control in the center and not accepting the gambit, avoiding those complications. Well, if that happens, then we would just continue with a normal development. Uh, these lines are not particularly strong. The way to refute this gambit is just accepting the pawn. So if black plays one of these moves, then uh, we continue with a normal development. And in general, we should have a, a slightly better mid game. Well, in the main line, as we said, c takes b4, and here we have two options. We can play this move d4 directly, and in the end we got what we wanted, a very good control in the center with two pawns and a very fast development with bishop d3 and knight f3, so this is going to be fine. However, the line I want to suggest in this video is a3, and here black has two main ways to play. They can continue taking on a3 or just play this interesting and tricky move d5. After d5 we could just capture that pawn and after queen takes, uh, if we play a takes before, it's a very bad move, we are falling for the trick. There is queen e5 check and then the rook is hanging on a1. So instead of that, after queen takes d5, we are going to play knight f3, a development move, controlling e5. And in this position the best move for black is this e5 and here we should capture this pawn on b4. We are helping black to develop, but the idea is that in the next we will play bishop a3 and after the trade we will develop the queen side. We are going to stop the theory here, but in this position we have a pawn down and some compensation. There are some interesting ideas with the weakness on c7. For example, if black plays a normal move like knight f6, we can just continue with this idea of knight b5, threatening check here on c7 with a fork. Um, this is a little annoying because we are taking the pawn on a7, we are taking the pawn on e5 with your knight. And if black plays now knight a6 wanting to block the rook so we cannot capture a7, also protecting c7, then they are falling for the trick. Here we can play removing the defender, rook takes knight, and then we have the fork still getting the queen. So in this position after knight takes bishop, we can say Black could be better if they find very accurate defensive moves, but in general, those moves are not easy to find in these levels, so we can say it's an interesting position to play as white. And here, besides d5, black can also play this line, taking the pawn on a3, then we just recapture with the bishop. We can think of this position just as in a bank of gambit with reverse colors, where we have the pawn down, but we will have some good pressure on the queen side, and also some good pressure over here. So that's a way to play. Also something we can keep in mind is these ideas of 
uh, attacking in the king side, assuming black castles over there. So we could play some d4, bishop d3, knight f3, and the main idea here is to play some e5 at some point, and probably we could be creating some Greek gift sacrifice position where we can take on h7 followed by knight g5, queen h5. Of course, it depends on how black plays, but it could happen in some games. And another thing we need to say here is that very often these bishops will be traded. Black will want to play e6, d5 to fight for the center. And we can use this idea of e5 and d4. And then as our knight is coming over a3, we will have some very interesting pressure over b5 controlling d6. As the bishop won't be there, this square will be weak. Also c7 is very often a good weakness. So we can have some pressure over dark squares if black plays in that way. Finally, we want to see how we would be playing Queen Gambit if black plays French defense. Well, the idea here is that we would play something like Knight f3 and after the normal d5 we just play e5 and if black plays the logical c5 then we can play Queen Gambit with b4. Basically we can use the same ideas but also notice that the typical d4 bishop d3 targeting h7 is looking very well now and the Greek gift sacrifice is again very likely to happen and also we have already the pawn on e5 controlling so we could be playing a3 wanted to recapture with the bishop trading dark squares bishop and then that plan of knight a3 b5 d6 with a very good pressure and this is a great outpost and the knight on d6 is going to be a great piece so if you have any question about wing gambit or if you want to share some experience about what happened when you played it in your games feel free to write it in the comments i hope you have enjoyed this video help my channel with some like if it was like that subscribe so you get notifications for my next videos never stop believing see you in the next